Well, the tug of war took its toll on many, and uh, of course, the biggest battle was between Lewis McLean and James Fenley in the third heat, with James Fenley coming out of that successful. But then he went against Dave Meir in the second semi final and just had no strength left, with Meir coming out the winner quite comfortably in the end. And then to the final, it was the big man. It was Gary Gardner over Dave Meir. Gardner, a very easy winner. So here we are, event three, round two, with the giant golden egg. What does this event entail, Jeff? Basically, what they've got to do, they've got to address the egg, which is a nice and golden round shape. They've got to pick it up from the floor and place it into the egg cup. The actual egg, it weighs 150 kilos. Right. Is it like a clean then? You've got to get it. Well, they've belly? got to pick it up in one position, move towards the egg cup, and put it in. S simple. That's and then, great. And then what happens? The egg gets pushed back out, and the next lifter comes in. And then, after each round, the egg cup gets higher. Right. So it gets elevated three and a half inches, then four inches, and four inches. So like other events, it favoured shorter guys, taller guys. Absolutely, this but the is... shorter guy might be stronger than the taller guy. Right. And he might be able to get it up quicker and push it and press it. The tall guy yeah. might not be able to do that. Yeah. Um, in your day, did you have this? Uh, no, we didn't have anything like that, but I think that is Glenn Ross waiting for his breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, without any further ado, let's get cracking. OK, fine, let's get on. <laughs> Well, the egg weighs 145 kilograms and uh, the 60 seconds is the limit. They've got to lift these eggs into an egg cup and the egg cup is raised. But Liam O'Sullivan, incidentally, of England, is the first we're going to see in the fifth lift. I wonder how long he's been involved in strongman competitions. About five years now, um, on and off, <laughs> not permanently. Uh, yeah, this is probably the highest rank I've got. Mm. Anyway. I just did a bit of weightlifting, um, that's it really. Um, and I found we were good at the static stuff and a uh, friend's got a gym and he's got all the equipment there. So we just uh, took it from there really and started doing competitions. I like the old school ones, Jeff Capes and Bill Kazmaier and all the ones I used to watch when I was younger. Heroes indeed for Liam O'Sullivan. Well this is the Fifth lift, he's had four in the basket thus far. Struggling with that one though. Needs to get this. Four successful lifts so far. Sitting down, squatting, putting that ball in, moving the shoulders back, trying to roll it onto the chest. Got to get it try a little bit higher than that. He surely he can roll that now, can he? No, he can't. And I think that is uh, going to be his lot. He's got 60 seconds though, so he won't give up. But he's got four, he desperately needs five. Now then, his last real attempt at this. He's got to roll it onto his chest, get his chin out of the way, and then get his arms under it. No, 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 it's gone, it's gone. Four egg lifts to him. Well, Dale Norris, you've got uh, four lifts to your credit. This is your fifth. He's currently in second place overall in the competition, taking days one and two into account thus far. Now then. Well, that was easily done, wasn't it? So that's five for Dale Norris. Lewis McLean looked as though he might not take any further part in this after the first day activities when he was injured, but he seems to have recovered. This is his fifth attempt now. Put the fifth egg into the basket. The basket has been raised after each lift, of course, just to remind you of that, but that was easy. James Fennelly then, he's currently in fourth. This is his fifth lift. Taller, and I guess the height will help on this one, most definitely. All other things being equal, then uh, Gary Gardner should succeed on this. Fifth lift, very, very tall. Oh, look at that, he almost, it's almost level with his head, uh, that, almost level with his chest. Dale Norris, sixth lift. Now then, this is going to be much more difficult. We're getting to the business end of the competition here. He's got to roll it back, use the knees just to get the grip. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He's so close, he's so close. Just one more little pull, one more little push. Come on, come on, Dale. It's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. Just a couple of inches or so. It's going to go. Yes, he's got it. He's got it. That's six. 
Well, Lewis McLean, what can you do? Looked easy on the last lift, it certainly did. 145 kilograms, let me remind you of the weight here. Mere mortals aren't uh, able to lift these sort of weights. He got it there, didn't he, and let it go. He's still got to the rest of 60 seconds. Having said that, bit's dropping off it as it hits the ground, which is, I guess, to an advantage. No, no, let's see what he can do here. Roll it, get your arms underneath it in a minute. There you go, press it in, that's good, that's six. Up next, uh, James Fennelly, and this actually may not be one of his best activities. He has problems in the pressing department. Shoulders is always a big problem for me. I'm doing a lot of kettlebell training now and a lot of Olympic lifting, trying to train, get more power into my shoulders and doing all different sorts of training, you know, for the shoulders. So that's always a weak point for me. My strongest probably my deadlift to me back, you know, and any events which I've all run around at, I'm fairly good at, you know, I'm fairly fit. So realistically, I need to get a bit bigger, you know, I need to put on, I'm 19 stone, like in terms of strongman, I'm kind of, Kind of light, you know, that kind of way. So I'd like to get up a bit of weight, but good weight. I don't want to put on a kind of bad weight, you know. So I'm always kind of working away, eating the right foods, just training hard, and then progress slowly, and surely we get there someday. Well, let's see how he gets on here. Now it's the press, the final part of this, that he finds difficult. He says, as you heard him say, he's been working on the upper body, and that looked pretty good actually. Very, very nice indeed. Gary Gardner, third place, six lift. Now then, what can he do here? Look very easy because of his height. Actually, he's got great strength and good levers, long levers, and good height, which helps him on this one. As the uh, basket is raised, the egg uh, cup is raised. It's being raised once again. Look. Now then, Dale Norris going for egg number seven. Now. He found it very difficult, uh, number six, with the height, and I have a feeling that uh, his physical height may be working against him here. He's going to have to press this, and the whole diameter of that uh, egg, and that's going to be difficult. Look, he's so close, if he was taller, it would be there. That's why Gardner's got a big advantage on this one. I don't think he's going to do that. No, he's not. No, he's not. Dale. That looked near on impossible to have got that on. Well, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get worried at that point that it could come down on your head or your shoulder or rebound into your toe? It was already on my head. <laughs> Just too short, simple as that. Simple as that. <laughs> simple as that. Well, Lewis McLean, can you succeed where Dale Norris has failed on this seventh lift? There's more height, so he's got a better chance. Now then. It's so difficult getting the weight close to your body. That's good. Now he's resting it on the edge of the egg cup. Now, oh, he just couldn't quite get underneath it. Couldn't quite get underneath it. There's a lot of muscle power in that body, I can assure you. He's got the 60 seconds in which to achieve it if he fails the first time. But, of course, every time he fails, the more energy he's using and the more difficult the next one becomes. And that is evidence of all of that. So he's failed, so no one yet has got the seventh egg in the air. Now James Fennelly then, his chance. Looked okay on the last uh, lift, but this is a little bit higher. But he has got height. Now if he can get it into the right position to press it, it's almost there, it's almost there. It's just right on the edge, another little, oh, what a shame. What a shame. That was so close. I think he's going to have another go. He's still got uh, time left of this uh, minute. Needs the points. Now then, feet, shoulder width apart. Try to get that uh, egg close to you. The closer you can get it to you, the better. Therefore, you roll it on the knees. Now lift up with the, with the egg on the chest. No, 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 no. So, no one yet there. Nice one there, James. Are you confident now that you're getting ever closer to the final? Yeah, still, still a battle on one event to go, so we'll keep pushing on. You know, I nearly got that and destroyed my chin in the process, but <laughs> what can you do? Oh, That's the joy of it. Like it's quite dangerous as it gets up to those heights. Yeah, because it could easily fall, as, you, as it did with me, and gone for a bit of an into the crowd or something, you know, but yeah. luckily it didn't. But it's, it's just getting your, getting your hands underneath it, and now you just misbalanced it. And, yeah. But and you don't like it. the pressing events so much, so well, you're not displaying any weakness there. I, I actually, I'm very good at stones. It's one of, one of my good events, because I have a good, strong back and all that, you know, but 
Pressing events is not me, not my favourite, but that's, that's, that was okay, thank God. Well, Gary Gardner next, of course. So if he gets this, he wins. Very much in his element uh, with these lifting events. He certainly is. Any loading event or any carrying event, I'm quite good at. So it's wherever squatting, it's a disadvantage. So. I have a quite a physical job, so uh, I'm always lifting and carrying at work. But I've tried to do a bit of cardio once a week, but mainly that just conditioning work really, maintaining what I've got. Well, we'll see. But it did look good the previous uh, six lifts and this with his height at six feet eight he's got such an advantage assume all things all other things being equal Look at this. that's all he needs to do he's won it doesn't need to go any further that's it seven lifts seven eggs in the egg cup well done that's two events in a row that you've won you've won are you feeling confident um yeah i don't usually get beaten on stones i've never been beaten on stones this year and um I've only been beaten by one person on a deadlift all this year, so it's already had my best three events. You're come. remaining undefeated, but you're making that look very easy. And is that purely down to your height, or is there the sort of technique that you're using? Have any? It didn't feel very heavy. Okay. So. Well, it did to us watching. Um, Gary Gardner, seven lifts there. Dale Norris, six. Lewis McLean, six. James Fennelly, six. Then Liam O'Sullivan, four. And Dave Meir, one. It's all he needed to do, quite frankly. Just looking at the overall situation after seven events, Dave Mir still leading at 35.5. He's done enough to go through to the final. Gardner and Norris clear, but Fennelly and Sul O'Sullivan have really got a battle on to see who is the fourth qualifier to the final. Well, there's um, Dave Mir. He's through definitely. So is Gary Gardner, just to confirm all of that. And of course, so is Dale Norris. The other two I mentioned, well, they've got the battle to come. Fennelly and O'Sullivan. Which one will prevail to go through to the final? The next up is the deadlift hold. It's 1,400 kilograms of car to hold for time.